Hi everybody, our story today is Splat the Cat. What was that? The tricking and treating was almost done. Splat and Spike only had the old house to visit. Let's go, cried Spike. Let's not, said Splat. It's too spooky. But Seymour had already scurried up to the old house. We have to find Seymour, cried Splat. I hope there are no ghosts. Seymour, shouted Splat. Trick or treat, shouted Spike. Ooh. Ooh. Splat and Spike slowly crept down a hallway full of creepy paintings. Are we being watched? asked Splat. Grrr, they heard a spooky sound. What was that? Yikes! Is that a witch in the closet? Nope. Just an old coat rack covered with silly stuff. They searched the dining room. Seymour, they shouted. Urgh, they heard a spooky sound. What was that? Crumble, Seymour. Where are you? They cried. Kerr clunk. They heard another spooky sound. What was that? Groan. Spike was starting to get scared. What was that? Spike shrieked. Wait for me. In the library, Splat leaned against an old statue. I'm out of here, cried Spike. A secret door, cried Splat. Spike, are you there, Splat called. Vampire ducks! They screamed and ran away. Gulp. Is that a monster in the cellar? Grumble, grumble. Phew. Just an old clunky furnace. Groan. Ooh, more spooky sounds were coming from behind the door. Oh, oh, it's a Ooh, ghost, they screamed. Ooh, what is that, says Splat. He ripped away the sheet. It was Seymour. So you made all those spooky sounds, said Splat. I guess too much candy made your tummy ache. Seymour just groaned. You gave us quite a fright. Seymour and said Splat, for a moment we thought there were ghosts. 
Happy Halloween! You gave us quite a fright. The end. I hope you enjoyed Splat the Cat. What was that?